Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we will learn about Puppet Lint, how Puppet Lint can help to solve the code style while writing any class. And we will be using Java module which we have installed to show how Lint can help to fix code style, we will cover Java module installation in next lecture. Puppet Lint tests Puppet code against the recommended Puppet language style guide. Puppet Lint validates only code style. It does not validate syntax. To test syntax, use Puppet's Puppet Parser Validate command. Puppet Lint checks for spacing, indentation and white space like few of them are. Two space soft tabs not used. Tab character found. Trailing white space found. Line has more than 80 characters. Line has more than 140 characters. Equals greater than is not properly aligned. It also checks for comments, quoting, resources, conditionals, classes, variables, documentation and notes. Please go through each of these checks to validate your code. Now install the Puppet Lint gem by running gem install Puppet Lint. If you don't have gem installed, Install gem first by running yum install gem. Once the installation completed you can test the puppet lint for any of your module. Now run command again, gem install puppet hyphen lint, to install the puppet lint. So now puppet lint has been installed so let's test it on java module. So run command puppet lint manifests and this will check all the classes inside the manifest and print the error for code style. So I got two errors one is class not documented and another is two spaces soft tab not used. So let me correct install.pp by documenting the class and by using two soft tabs. Save the file and run the puppet lint again and here you go no error so we have fixed the code syntax issue by using puppet lint. Now let's explore puppet lint for disabling the syntax checks. So I have edited the install.pp and added a tab before ensure. Save the file and check the syntax with puppet lint. You can see, lint is reporting error for two space soft tab not used and a tab character found. So now let's check how we can disable or ignore a few of syntaxes to skip puppet reporting an error. To disable the checks you can do it by on the command line. Within puppet code. Or on configuration files so let's look at the command line first. Run puppet lint hyphen hyphen help to check the syntax for skip soft tab check and skip hard tab check. Now run command. Puppet lint no 2sp underscore soft underscore tabs check. No hard underscore tabs check. Manifests to skip the soft and hard tab checks. As a result you will not get any error. So by using command line you can skip the checks. Now let's skip the checks within puppet code. To control the checks, blocks of lines in your manifest can be ignored by boxing them in with lint ignore check name and lint and ignore with comments. Or you can also ignore just a single line by adding a trailing lint ignore check name. So let's test it by adding linignore2sp underscore soft underscore tabs in ensure line of install.pp. Save the file and test the puppet lint again. You can verify only hard tab error is reported now and soft tab error check has been skipped. 
So we have checked disabling lint from command line and encode so now let's disable it by using configuration files. Each time puppet lint starts up, it loads configuration from three files in order. Slash etc slash puppet lint dot rc Slash dot puppet lint dot rc Dot puppet lint dot rc this means that a flag in the local .puppet lint .rc will take precedence over a flag in the global slash etc slash puppet lint .rc. For example, flags specified on the command line take final precedence and override all config file options. Any flag that can be specified on the command line can also be specified in the configuration file. So now create a .puppet lint.rc file and add entry. No hard underscore tabs check. Test the puppet lint again and puppet lint will not report any error. Because puppet lint ignore soft tab is set in install.pp file. And hard tab ignore is set in .puppet lint or rc configuration file. So in this example code check will take precedence over configuration file checks. Now remove the entry from configuration file and test puppet lint again. So puppet lint will report only hard tab error as it was not ignored in install.pp code. So now we are done with disabling puppet lint checks so let's move on to fixing the errors by lint itself. So you can use puppet lint hyphen hyphen fix to fix issues automatically. So remove the door puppet lint.rc configuration file and remove the soft tab ignore entry from the install.pp code. And run puppet lint again to validate the errors. Now run puppet lint hyphen hyphen fix to fix code style issues automatically in install.pp. Also open install.pp file and validate that tab has been removed. Okay, so that's it. We're done with puppet lint and we learned how to fix code style issues in classes. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture to install Java module.